what we're going to do is we're going to set up some sheets um, using the drawing. Uh, draw. So from the DGN, we're going to go into Project Explorer. So I want to come into Project Explorer, and it can't find any link set. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to create a new link set. So I can see the active file, new link set, and what I'm going to call it is just parcels. And now that is in my list. So I have a new project in Project Explorer called Parcels, and I can add um, information or data links in there. And so what I want to do before I do that is I want to create a save view of the area that I want to put in my sheet. So I have my two parcels fit to view. I'm going to come into workspace or I'm sorry utilities, um, save views, and I'm going to use the create a save view icon, select into the view, and it's created. And I create this untitled view. So now back to my Project Explorer, I'm going to create a link, and I'm going to create the link, in this case from a file. Now if I had multiple files that I wanted to work with that were in a folder, I might say from a folder. So I'm going to link it from a file, and I'm going to call the, come out and grab my DGN file. And you can see I have a model and I have two save views as you saw in that model. I can pick anything I want out of here. So in this case what I want to do is uh, just basically save the, the model out. So now in my view I have two save views in my Project Explorer. Now I'm ready to create some paper. So I want to come in and create a new model that's a sheet. Probably only need a 2D. I'll just call this um, parcel plan. I'm going to leave it at one to one. Um, give it a sheet number. I'm going to come in here and give it, um, since we're using ANSI D, I'm going to say OK. Okay, so now I have a paper space, and what I want to do, and the reason I created this Project Explorer, is it makes it very easy now for me to add um, information to the sheet. And I want to come in and drop my save view onto the sheet, and the reference attachment setting opens up. So because I have my sheet set at one to one, I want to now scale my model. And I'm going to scale that to um, 1 to 500. Let's say OK. And you can see it's on the end of my cursor. And it places into my sheet. 